Hi everyone, welcome to Last Minute Coders. My name is Vinay. So in this video, we are going to learn how we can extract values from combo box to a label. Okay, so as you all know, like in a combo box, what we have, we have a table, okay, a table of items we have, okay. And text, a label contains what? It contains text values, okay. So how we can extract these values, okay, these values inside this label. Okay, so this is what we are going to learn. This is just a demo. So let's see. So here, let's say if I select like these four AP supervisor, app support, asset inquiry engineer, asset integrity lead. So see up here, AP support, then there is a comma and a space, then comma and a space, comma and a space. Okay, so see, so for separator, I have used comma and a space. So I've selected these four items. And the reason for this is also like this. Our combo box is way too small to hold all these value. Let's say if our requirement is to show the values that we have selected. So yeah. And one more thing we are going to learn today is like if we have this a uh, label with some kind of separator, uh, it doesn't matter like it, it had to be a comma or any, any other kind of separator we can use in this label. And let's say from this label, if you wanted to create a drop down, how we can do that. So this is also what we are going to learn today. As you can see up here, we have like these uh, four different uh, values with us with a comma and a space separator. And here, see the drop down is based on these four. Let me select like two. So this drop down will only contain two values, whatever it's present inside this label. So let's start this video and before starting, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Like this video also if you like the content, okay? And share it with your colleagues. So let's start. So let me create one screen first, one blank screen. Now let's add a combo box. So yeah. Here we have our combo box and I hope you know how you can like give it a data source. Okay. Data source or items. So how we give item, we use a square bracket, right? And inside a square bracket, we use double quotes and then we give values. Uh, let me give like, uh, cars, bikes, helicopter, Aeroplane. Okay. Truck. Buses. And what we can say. Three wheeler. Vehicles. Okay. So something I gave some random values to this. So what is a combo box? Okay. So see cars, bike, helicopter, airplane, truck, uh, buses, three wheeler, three wheeler vehicles. Okay. So yeah, since this is a combo box, reason why we use combo box is like uh, in drop down, we don't have that facility to select multiple values. Okay. So here, see, we can select multiple values. Also, one more thing we can do is uh, we can like search different, different values. Okay. By searching see currently searching is off so how we can turn the searching on in this combo box so just click on your combo box here see on the left right hand side in the property section here see so see this this is our property section right uh, select multiple is on and allow searching just turn this on so once you turn this on see here if i if i type like hell so I, it will show me the option with this matching, uh, what do you say? Characters, okay. With this matching string, he, whichever character will contain HEL. Okay, so uh, I'll see those only, okay. So yeah, this is, this is cool. Now, okay, let me play this. Let me select like uh, two, three. Okay, let me select like these five. So here, see, I'm seeing up here like six item, but what are those six item? Let's say if I wanted to see the list of those six items for that, what you can use is you can use simply use a list box here. See, this is our list box, right? Just increase the size of it a bit and just copy the name of your combo box. Click up here, go to its item property and say selected items. Okay. That's it. 
and here see this is this is cool right if i select like these five so i'm seeing the five up here let me just deselect this three wheeler so see this so this is fine but what if like if your requirement is something like uh, uh, just to have this inside a label with a comma separate them with a comma how you can do that so let me first create one label first okay uh where is that let me center align this say 18 okay once this is done i'll say top vertical align from the top i'll give it like background color lighter blue okay anyway this is unnecessary things uh, so how how we can extract values from here since this is a table okay and this is a text type how to convert this thing this tables this table values into a text so for that we will use concat function click on this text and here see whatever text if i write in double quotes let's say if i type something gibberish so here's here see that gibberish thing is coming up here okay so let me remove everything and let me type here like concat now okay it will say concat concat here see what all parameters it need it need a table and an expression so our table is nothing but that combo box dot selected items okay so this is our table okay it is fine no expression so how how you want to proceed it is saying like i'll say do something like this go to each record okay first time it will go to bike okay it will be value first time it will go to bike and if i put comma up here see the third parameter is the separator how you want to separate this value let's say if i want to separate with the, this dash sign okay so see up here once i like complete this so see bike space dash space aeroplane space and so on and so forth okay and if i do something like this uh, comma and space so see comma separated well and good right so this thing this thing is done now what happens is sometimes we have like uh, a text like this in our data sources right a comma separated text and we wanted to convert this text okay let me just copy this and here instead of this uh, this time what i'll say is mm, let's say a b c x y z uh, p q r l m n okay h i j something i just gave some random values okay i have this thing in my data source let's say and i wanted to create a drop down from this okay from this label so how we can do that Firstly, let me create either you can use drop down. Let's take drop down for this one. Okay, so we have this uh, drop down. Okay. So from this label, how we can extract the value like ABC first uh, will be my ABC, then XYZ, then PQR. How we can do that? So go to its item property. Uh, firstly, just copy the name of this label. So the name of this label for me is label six underscore one. I'll just select this drop down, go to its item property. I'll just remove this, paste this, I'll say no dot text. But if I do something like this, it will throw me an error. Reason because this is a text and it is and this drop down is expecting what? It is expecting a table. So how I can provide it a table? So for that I will use a split function. So what a split will do? It will split this uh this label okay into a table okay and it will it, we just need to provide it a separator here see what all parameters it need it need a text and a separator okay so the separator here is a comma okay so once i provide it provide it like this and see this now the data type is table i am seeing the value up here let me play the app and see up here abc xyz pqr lmn hij well and good so by default what happened is like in our uh, this thing drop down 
uh, it 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 won't take a blank value let's say if if you want to keep this blank also how you can do that go to advanced section and we have this one property up here allow empty selection uh, initially it will be false for you as well so just turn this to true once you turn this to true okay see up here now it will take blank values as well okay so this is it for this video i hope you enjoyed it and if you did don't forget to hit the subscribe button hit the bell icon too so you don't miss any upcoming notification and do like this video i'll see you in the next one till then take care goodbye bye